Welcome Sagittarius and welcome to your September 2021 reading. Uh, this is going to be for my lovely Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. You're watching GURU Tarot. And so you guys know that these readings can pretty much resonate whenever they're called to you, whenever they show up in your feed. Um, not all the readings will resonate with you. Just take uh, the bits and pieces that do. And if all of it does, then it really is for you. But don't make, don't ever make a reading work for you. Okay, so just again, take what resonates and just get rid of what doesn't. And um, I'm sorry about last month. Uh, I've had so many things going on. I've, I really just should have just taken a break and not do any readings. But I wanted to put something out there for you guys. Um, just know that um, I have a day job and I have a couple of businesses that I'm trying to grow. And also this. I would love for this to be one of my main gigs, but unfortunately it is not, and so uh, it takes a, a step back, and I would love for it to be on the forefront where I can do a lot more content for you. It would be so much fun for me, and I would like to be able to connect my energies with you even more. And if you do want a personal reading, since these are general readings, you could always go down to my Etsy store for that as well. And yeah, so let's just go ahead and move on with your reading. And I already pre-shuffled and meditated. And again, I'm going to do something just a little bit different where I already um, meditated with cards and I reshuffled them and I already pulled them out. And I'm using the Morgan Greer deck and the Eternal Visions. And so let's go ahead and get started. So um, your main focus here is the High Priestess, Sagittarius. And so the High Priestess holds a lot of secrets. She's a mystery in a sense. Um, she's quiet. She doesn't um, expose all of her secrets and she's intuitive she's in tap she's in um tapped into her own intuition so you may be at a point where you are maybe practicing in the metaphysics maybe a tarot card reader as well like myself or you're someone that um is not giving in to all of this chit chat around you but is cognizant of what is going on around you and keeping that to yourself in a sense so you are intuitive in a sense of what is going on and um, you're keeping things close to your um, and I'm sorry about that noise you're keeping your um, your cards to yourself in a sense so how does this type of energy go and mix with the rest of the cards for the month we shall see so with the four of cups as the first card on the first row this is a sense of feeling you, you don't have a, your decision made in a sense <coughs> excuse me feeling a little bored with the cups in front of you or looking at the cups in front of you and seeing what it is that um, they could possibly give to you without seeing this cup that is coming towards you. It is a feeling of someone fe maybe feeling withdrawn or bored. So this could be your energy in some sort of situation, but it could be someone else's. So let's just expand upon that. And so we have the two of pentacles. So here we have someone that's juggling. So that makes sense. So you or someone else is withdrawn and maybe juggling some situations. It may be a job situation where they're contemplating taking one over the other or priorities in their life, or it could be people. It could be relationships in regards to who to choose. And so this is where I feel that you may be just keeping this to yourself and you may seem withdrawn because you may be 
in a mode where you are uh, measuring everything up and that's where you're at the two of pentacles with the knight of wands in reverse you may be dealing with a fire sign which is aries sagittarius or leo doesn't have to be but um you are not wanting to have this energy that's going to come in and out of your life it's a very passionate type of energy so you may have ghosted this person in a sense because you are not wanting to deal with someone that just wants to have these passionate um, type of rendezvous with you. And it's something that you're just not going to continue to work on if this person continues to come in and out of your life and is not serious. And I feel that there is this sense of love for this person. There is that passion. You know, this person may bring this excitement and passion and you may be withdrawn with your other choices but you're needing to heal as well and the situation you're needing to set your boundaries and find what's important within yourself and you're also balancing yourself as well and you're hoping for that wish fulfillment to come into your life but you're doing that for yourself first as the high priestess and so with the King of Pentacles in reverse, I feel that you may be dealing with a earth sign, doesn't have to be, which is Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, doesn't have to be, but someone is feeling in a sense um, imbalance. This person may have some financial issues. Um, this person is, um, could be lazy. But someone that is ungrounded, I feel. There is someone that's ungrounded and is um, withdrawn. And um, this person, I feel, may have been mooching off of you or, in a sense, you know, it could be something you need to be aware of that has been taking more from you than giving. I feel that this King of Pentacles energy may have been taking more than they give. Or someone has been giving more time to this type of energy. Where someone is making a decision now over where they want to give their time and energy to with, uh, with the Six of Pentacles. It is a feeling of charity, of giving to um, another person. It could be that. But it's also energy, of giving that time of energy to someone. And so with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, it feels like this person was a burden. But that there was a lot of love in this relationship. But this person probably didn't even want to, didn't put enough into this relationship is what I'm getting. Instead, it came in and out of your life, you know, passionately, for passion, for sex, possibly. And again, this person is taking more than they're giving, right? And this person is also looking at all the different cups around them. And so you or they're, they're feeling their burdens, I feel, and they feel that they have this this love with you they want to have this ten of cups but they're all over the place with not being grounded i feel with the page of cups here that this person um may not be the best at expressing their emotions with the page of cups in reverse they may be immature it could be that they are um there is an age gap with the Page of Cups in reverse, and I see the Queen of Pentacles here. So there may be an age gap as well. But they see you as someone who is very grounded, who's very giving and loving, and um, you may be a businesswoman as well. Um, you have your head on your shoulders, and your person feels rather immature and not able to express themselves. 
and like I said they may be taking more from you by being so passionate and um, with the six of pentacles here they're just taking more and so they like I said they may have been lazy of not being able to express themselves or even stubborn and so this makes you feel with the two of cups in reverse saddened by this partnership that hasn't been fulfilling in the way as you would have liked and with the five of cups um, it has left you uh, really sad or this person has realized the sadness that they have given you that they haven't putting, been putting much effort with the two of cups in reverse and that they need to do more work but they really haven't been doing the work with the with the seven of pentacles in reversed um they're afraid that you will walk away from them that you will have had enough with the death in reverse that you're you're just going to get away from this this um relationship because it has kept you trapped and bound where else they're afraid that you're going to walk away and um you are seeking that healing you are wanting to have that that healing for yourself but you are keeping this to yourself and I feel that this person is going to be very sad I feel in the sense of when you do decide to um, transform for yourself that you plan to free yourself or your person plans to free themselves from some sort of relationship that you will begin to heal and that you, you or you, your person is going to walk away from some sort of situation in order to have that healing I'm hoping I'm making sense I feel like I'm a little bit all over the place but just put the story in bits and pieces that sound right to you because it sounds like a lot of different stories in one. And so, with the main focus with the High Priestess here, it's meaning um, that you're keeping a lot of what you know, your own knowledge to yourself. You're keeping your cards to yourself. Or, like I said, you may be um, practicing the spirituality of metaphysics, going deeper within yourself and not really paying attention of what is going around you because you are healing. And so with the Four of Cups, I feel that someone is withdrawn and that someone is not the best communicator with their own emotions. And you or this person wants to walk away from something that is causing a lot of sadness and confusion. But there is deep love in some sort of relationship and longing for you. But I feel that you will find that once you start healing for yourself. So let's go ahead and close this up with a Dorian, some Dorian Virtue cards for you. Sagittarius, what does Sagittarius need to know, Spirit, for the month of September? What does Sagittarius need to know? I have let go of control issues. I have separation. And the kettle, one of the kettles just died out. What else? And I felt I have the next card is this could be the one. So let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So what is going on is going on in the way that it should. And you keeping your cards to yourself and wanting to go towards healing. You are playing that goal that um the game here with the two of pentacles and just letting go of this control issues and then there is that sense of separation 
it may be a separation that's going on with your person and another person it could be between you and this person or um, yeah this is what I'm seeing here in the cards it could be someone that has been trapped in a situation that wants to go towards you or you're in some sort of situation where you're wanting to leave for healing and moving into a higher sense of spirituality as you go through the separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And this could be the one. So you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So it could be that you have the sense of knowing that things are a bit stagnant and needing to shift and change. And so as you take a break from the situation, as you walk away from the Eight of Cups or your person walks away from, from someone, then this healing starts with the star. And this is a very important card of moving into spirituality and being um, okay with that sense of being on your own and by yourself um, and moving into spirituality wholeheartedly without fear and detaching. But knowing that this Ten of Cups will come in for you once you do that, once you walk away and you heal. And it's not telling me that it could be with this person, even though they say, they say that this could be the one, but it could be a brand new person or it could be a shift and change where this person decides to meet you at your level as a high priestess. So I hope um, this reading made sense. It's a little bit all over the place. I feel like there has been a lot of different messages here. So just take again what resonates and just get rid of what doesn't. But I always enjoy reading for you. Thank you so much. And I will still have my contest where you have the most views and more likes. Um, then you will be second after the birthday sign, which is going to be Libra in the next month. Okay. And again, Sorry for last month, um, but I'm happy you guys stayed with me. I love you guys. Thank you so much again, and I will see you next month. Thank you.